Hello, this is the basic lesson on forms. My little girl's in the background, so you're probably going to hear a lot of cooing and whatnot. But we're just going to go ahead and do this. I figured this is probably the best way to teach you how to do forms. So, what I want you to do is I want you to open up the new Belmont database located in the Access Lessons folder. And once you've opened it up in Office 2007, choose Options and then select Enable Content and then that will get done with that part right there. Okay. If this isn't already selected, make sure that this says object type right here and all access objects. And then that what that does is that shows you the tables, queries. Let me expand that real quick. Here's all the queries I have in this database, forms and reports. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about forms. So here's a form that's already made it's called contract data so I'm going to double click on it and open it and what this does is this allows me to enter data into my contract table forms you can create and you can customize forms so that they can do lots of different things and so I'm going to teach you today how to customize your own form how to create your own form so what we're going to do is we're going to create a form on the customer based on the customer table so let's go ahead and close this we're going to double check our relationships. So I'm going to click on database tools. And I'm going to click on the relationships button. Yeah. And we should have something that looks like this right here. All of our tables should have one to many relationships assigned between them. So if you don't have this, you need to go back and you need to figure out how to get that. Okay, because you can't do anything with forms unless you have that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the relationships window. Now, I'm going to go to the create tab. I'm going to choose for right now, uh, let's see, under forms, I am going to choose form design. Basically, form design, if you know how to create anything in form design, you don't need any of the other features, but they're there and they're nice. Form design is probably the best way to customize things, so I click on that. All right, well, let's see what we got here. This is called the detail window, and this is where all the basic uh, data structures go in the form, in the details section. But I also want something called a form header and a form footer. So what I do is I just right-click, I choose form header footer, and then access inserts that for me. So here's the form header section. And let's see if I can scroll down here just a little bit. Yeah, there's the form footer section. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up. Now, this button right here, the property sheet, is going to become very important. As a matter of fact, these two buttons are probably the two buttons that you're going to use the most often. I'm going to click on the property sheet and if I click in the form header section then what happens is the property sheet changes to all of the different possibilities for just the form header section so the property sheet will always change depending upon which object you're selected on if I click on the detail section the property sheet changes accordingly so I'm gonna click back on the form header and I wanna make the height 0.8 inches so the way that I do that is I find height in the property sheet and I highlight, click in here, highlight, and I say 0 0.8 and then a double quote is usually how you end with inches. Hit tab and notice that this got wider right here. So now I can customize it. I can set it exactly to the dimensions that I choose. Okay, well now I'm going to change the background color. So let's go to back color right here and I'm going to select the, the ellipsis, these three dots here. And I'm going to choose a nice light red background for my form, back color. And let's see here, did it do it? Yes, there we go. So now I have a nice back color. Okay. Now, make sure you're clicked on the design tab. I'm going to close the property sheet button so now I can see things more clearly. This is going to be a form to enter customer data. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a label. Click on the label button. And then I get to customize how big my label is. 
and I'm just going to type in customer data entry form, just like that. Click out, click once. Every time you click on an object once, it will be surrounded by an orange bounding box, okay? And in the upper left-hand corner, there's a little gray box. I'm going to show you why each of those things are important. Now, the best way to change fonts and sizes and everything is really just to use the Home tab. We could use the Property Sheet and then change all the properties right in here. But quite frankly, when it comes to text, just the Home tab is the easiest. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, and I'm going to change the size of the font to, let's say, 24. It's a pretty decent size. And I'm going to keep the font the same. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's change the color. So I'm going to change the color to a nice darker red, something different. Eh, that's okay. So we'll leave it like that for now. Okay. Also, I want to import an image because I want to customize my form. So what I do is I go to design. And let's see if I can find this guy here. There should be something called insert image right there. There's the button. So I click on the image button. I get to customize the size of the image so I'm going to create something about this size. And now I need to be able to import the image. So I've got the image here saved on my desktop you're going to have it saved in your Access Lessons folder. So I've got a customer.png file. I import that. I hit OK. There we go. So there's my customer image. Now, if I go to Datasheet view right now, things look rather boring, but I've at least got a, what's called a template here. So this is what my form looks like right now. Now, let's go back. Let's select Design View. All right. Now I'm going to click on the Add Existing Fields. Everything is going to come from the Customer Table. So I click on Show All Tables. I expand Customer. And this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to double-click Customer ID. Notice how it appears there. I'm going to skip Company just for a second. Go to First Name, Last Name, then go to Company phone, address, city, state, zip, and then email address. And so notice it adds in everything here, all of these fields. Now, this next thing that I'm going to show you is one of the things that makes creating forms potentially the most frustrating because you have to align things well in order to make it look like a good form and that can be really annoying if you don't know how to use the tools that Access has already given you properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off the add existing fields. I'm done with that part and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my fields, my text boxes and my labels. Each part, let me talk about that. Each of these is composed of two parts a text box and a label and they have a relationship they're called bounded or bonded together or bounded together and that bounding comes from the table that you import the item from so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight all of my items my objects here and all at once I'm just going to drag them up To here. So let's see what we got. Let's go to Datasheet View and voila! I now have a customer data entry form. I notice a couple things. Address here doesn't have enough space and neither does email address. So okay, let's fix that. Let's go back to Design View and under address I'm gonna select once on the text box now again this part here is the text box 
and this part over here is the label associated or bounded to that text box. So what I do is I click on the text box, hover the icon over to the sizer handle here on the right hand side. It should turn into a double arrow. Click and drag and what that does is that will increase the size of the address field. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make sure it turns into a double arrow. You're probably not seeing that in the video, but yours should turn into a double arrow. Click and drag over, and then it resizes. Okay, let's go back to data sheet view. Much better. Much better. Company name could also be rather long. So let's go back to design view. Let's go click once on company name. Put the cursor over the middle handle there, and then drag it out. I'm going to give it a little bit more room too. So right about there. There we go. So company name. All right. Well, let's go ahead and look down here. These are the record numbers. And so what I can do is I can scroll through the form, just like so, looking at each customer that's been entered. I notice that there are a total of 41 customers. Now, if I want to enter a brand new customer, rather than having to do it in the table, I can now do it via the form. So what I do is I go ahead and click on this very last button here, which is the new blank record. It zooms to the end of the customer table and leaves everything blank because it's a new entry. So I've got a new customer I'm going to enter. Now, I'm going to make up a customer ID. So let me just go back one real quick. This customer ID is 19999. So I am going to choose 20,000. Let's see if that works. 20, 1, 2, 3. First name, my name, my last name, company, Piper, Global, Megacorp. My phone number is 123, that's the area code, 456-7890. My address is 123 Form Way. My city is uh, Aversville. My state, I want to be in New Hampshire today. My zip code, 03456. My email address is partridgej at hgmc.net. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead back to the tables. I'm going to select the customer table. And what I do is I'm going to scroll to the end of the customer table. There's John Davidson. Oh, I didn't save the form. I'm going to save the form next. So I click Save. What do I want to call the form? Well, just like I'm going to do, this is what I want you to do. I want you to begin all your forms with FRM, lowercase, underscore, customer, form, underscore, your last name. So I type in Partridge. Hit OK. There we go. OK. Let's go ahead and close this out. Now, I'm going to close out the customer table real quick. Open it back up. Hey, there it is. I've now entered through the form customer values and it puts it into the customer table. And this is very useful because in the real world you don't really want to give many of your employees direct access to the table itself. Now there's a lot of more things that we'd have to do here to make this secure. We're not talking about security issues here at all. 
because pretty much now typing things into the form directly is just like typing them in the table. Security issues come later, okay? But for right now, we're just learning how to create forms, all right? All right, let's close this real quick. Let's open up the customer form again. All right, so now there's everything. All right, well, what if we want to change some of the ways that things are entered? Uh, for example, let's go back to design view. And what I want to do here, not to change the way that things are entered, but I do want to maybe give this a smaller compact view. So I'm going to position the cursor here. You're not seeing it in the video, but it's turning into a double arrow. And I click and I hold and I can drag this out. And that expands the detail window. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fields. So I'm going to select these five right here. And I'm going to drag them over. And as best as I can, I'm going to line them up. So let's talk about alignment real quick. Let me click and drag this down. Notice that the label is attached or bounded to the text box. So when I move a text box, it moves the label with it. Also, if I select uh, a label and drag it, oh, let me try this again, the text box goes with it. That's what it means to be bound. They're intertwined together. All right, so I go back to data sheet view. Well, my form looks really messy, and I made it that way on purpose because I want to show you the tools that Access gives you to arrange things. First thing I notice is that there's a lot of space here between the names, address, city, state, zip. Not so much for email address, but there's a lot of space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Design View. I am going to select the address text box. Now, this little gray box in the upper left-hand corner is very special because that is the individual selection box. What that means is that when I click on it, I can now move just the address text box without moving the address label. So if I move this over, look what happens here. It didn't move the label, just the text box. And that's the purpose behind this individual little box. There's the individual selection box. I click, I hold, I'm going to drag this over to about here, line this up with address. Okay, I am going to drag this up here. Bring that down just one notch. Alright, let's click on the individual selection box here. I drag this over. There we go. I'm going to select this. I am going to bring this up. Oops. Let's bring that up. Good. Over. Good. One more. Good. All right. Let's go back to data sheet view. So now I've got a little bit less space between these right here. If you don't know the tools that Access gives you in the form design view, this will drive you nuts. So all of those little details that I'm giving you right now, super important, super important, okay? All right, so look, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. I am going to take this part and I'm going to put this underneath the email address label. So let's go back to design view. Again, right now what we're doing is customization. That's it, customization. Click, I select the individual selection box. I bring it underneath. All right, now I'm going to give it a little bit more space. Could be a long email address. You won't see this in the video, but that did turn into a double arrow. And I hit data sheet view. Pretty good. Uh, let's say the email address is blue. 
so let's go back I'm just playing around now I click on the text box let's see if the home tab can do this for me oh let me go back to design real quick I want to show you something right here in the design tab you already see some elements that are very common to the home field so let me just go through here and I'm gonna select a blue color what's a good blue? Uh, we'll select this yeah, that's not too bad let's go back to datasheet view and there's the email address alright now let's go in here back to design view alright click in here let's now change this to a darker blue and let's go ahead and let's bold it back to datasheet view so there we go there's my email address and it's been bolded and I can see it that way alright what if I want some parts of the form to stand out well this is where customization really kinda comes home you can do lots of neat little things with this so what if I want to select or I want visually to somehow make a difference between customer ID first name and last name well what I can do there is I can insert let me find it real quick let's just insert an object called rectangle All right, let's go to the property sheet and let's go to format. It is a visible rectangle, border color, grid line color, grid line width left, display. Let's change the border color. Uh, let's change the border color to a darker red right here. So there's the border color, border width, back style. I'm going to change this from being transparent. Mm -hmm. Position, send to back. And that puts it behind the other fields. All right, let's change the color the back color. Let's change that to our darker red and let's go ahead and let's see what this looks like. There! And so now this stands out differently in the form. The customer ID, the first name, and the last name. Now notice how the black text kind of stands dark with the red text. So I can go back to design view I can click on the, oh, let's click out of that for just a second. There we go. Click on these. I'm going to hold the shift key, holding shift. I select these text boxes. Now I'm going to go up here to the text color and I'm going to change the text color to white. And now that makes them stand out. Now, let's click on the rectangle. Can I choose the ability, it's either visible or it's not visible, so I guess I can't change the opacity, special effect. Now uh, let's give it a special effect. I'm going to say chiseled, chiseled look. And let's go ahead and run the data sheet here. All right, there we go. These text fields are now white with a red background, and I think overall, you know, it's not the most professional customer entry form in the world, but it works. Now, here's the first part of your lesson. The first part of your lesson, there's two parts this week, and here's the first part. The first part is you're going to do the same thing that I did. So you're going to follow this video step by step by step on your own. You're going to create a customer data entry form just like I did. Um, I'll let you choose whichever color you want up here for the form header. Hi. Hi. How you doing? You want to say hello? You want to say hello? I love you. 
uh, Daddy's recording right now. Yep, that's okay. Not a big deal. I'm going to let you choose whatever color you want for the form header, and I'm going to let you choose whatever color you want for the rectangular box. Um, the rest of it, I pretty much want the same. So I basically want you to mimic what I'm doing. I think that's a good way to learn this. Then, after that, you're going to kind of do something on your own. You're going to create an invoice form. That's the second part of your assignment. So we've already got a contract data form. After you do this, you're going to have a customer form. And then you're going to create an invoice form. And that those two things are going to be done in this database. And you're going to save this database as a18.newbelmont.yourlastname. And that's what you're going to submit to me at the end of the week. So, God bless. Have a good night.